Enjoy this touching and inspirational story about a young pool player who overcame many obstacles to turn his dreams into reality. The story begins in the beautiful setup of the U.S. Virgin Islands, San Croix. And uh, normally when one hears of these islands, you think of uh, beaches like this, sand, blue water, holiday. Uh, life is easy, life is good, and uh, nothing can ever happen to you. This young fellow here on the left, his name is Michael Paris. He's the star of our show. And at a very young age, he discovered his passion for pool billiards. So Michael started playing pool and his father met a man here on the left, uh, Claude Peterson, who took care of Michael and taught him some basics of the game. Unfortunately, in 2017, Mr. Peterson passed away. But before that, he handed over young Michael to Jerome Anthony, another coach on the US Virgin Islands, who supported Michael and uh, improved his skills. And then Michael's life got struck by bad luck. The first thing was Hurricane Irma hit the US Virgin Islands and uh, St. Croix was severely affected by it. Two days before that happened, Deborah, Michael's mother, came home to find that a house had been robbed. All the funds for an upcoming USA national tournament in July, they were gone. And in addition to short footage, schools were destroyed, there was no electricity, no water and no phone service even. The devastation of the hurricane also destroyed the billiard room in which Michael practiced and played in. Well, due to all the devastation experienced after the hurricanes in 2017, in addition to the death of his coach, it was not certain that money or time was available for Michael to attend the junior nationals in New Orleans. But nevertheless, Michael's mom Deborah and friends were committed to seeing Michael continue. His coach, Anthony, was able to salvage a pool table on the island and took it to his home where Michael was able to play again, using a generator for electricity. Deborah, now operating in a smaller single-person salon, became, began working toward raising the needed funds with help from her community. Michael attended and placed fourth in his division at the US Nationals, which, while very strong, initially put him just out of the selection criteria. However, due to two players from USA and Canada not being able to attend the World Championships in Moscow, Michael was selected. This was due to his strong play, including a second place in the World Qualifying Performance in 2016 to travel with the North American team to Moscow. And this came as a complete surprise to Michael, his mother and his coach Anthony, and to the community who immediately stepped up to support their young athlete. Once having arrived in the capital of Russia, Michael, for the first time in his life, saw snow. In that tournament, the actual miracle happened. Michael was struggling his way through and uh, there were certain matches or several matches where he was almost out of the competition but he always fought back and managed to win his matches until he got to the final match. And here we see his coach, his mom and everybody was so excited. He was playing the final match in the World Championships now representing his continent and his country. Here we have the coaches from North America, Tom Rossman and Tom Riccabini, and this is his opponent. It's Emil André Gangflot from Norway, who was very strong and dominant in the beginning of the match. Uh, but Michael set his focus and he was willing to take something home from there. But his opponent from Norway didn't want to make it easy for him, as we can see. But he hung in there, he was concentrated, he was focusing on every single shot he was making. And then the miracle unfolded. Michael, after having trailed big time in the match, pocketed the deciding nine ball to win the world champion title in the 2018 World Juniors nine ball championships. And as one can imagine, the happiness was overwhelming to everybody involved. His coaches, his mom, his team, everybody who was there. They all celebrated Michael Paris, the, the fighter. It's 
probably hard to imagine for most people the enthusiasm and the joy with which Michael was received upon his arrival at home. He was welcomed by local politicians, by the governor, his schools, everybody who believed in him, donated for him. They were all proud of their world champion, Michael Paris. So remember, what started out here with almost no chance resulted here in having a new world champion, Michael Paris. I hope this story helps inspire other young people to follow and achieve their dreams. A big thanks to all the people and organizations who helped make this video possible.